Do you like cupcakes? I know, we all like cupcakes. So on today's program, we are going to show you how to make rainbow cupcakes. They look yummy. Stay right there for Marshall's Munchies. Aloha and welcome to my kitchen. Um, we are going to be making rainbow cupcakes today. Now there's a few things that you're going to need to get started and you'll find them right here in the post. Um, the main thing you're going to need is my recipe for the best vanilla cupcakes. And this is a recipe from scratch. So uh, that's the way that I'm going to do it today. True bakers make things from scratch. Unless they can't, then they use a box. So you are going to need my recipe right here for the best vanilla cupcakes. And um, we're going to make them rainbow colored to go into the cupcake cups here in a little while. So you're going to, uh, I'll show you how to do that. You're going to need some, uh, some food coloring to do that with. So let's get started. All right, so these are all of our ingredients for making the cupcakes. We've got our flour, we have sugar, we've got baking powder, baking soda, salt, and then we've got our wet ingredients here. We've got uh, half a cup of buttermilk. Now, if you can't do buttermilk, can't find it anywhere because buttermilk is expensive, just take a, the half a cup of milk, just regular milk, and add a half a tablespoon of lemon juice in it, stir it in there, and let it sit. And that's a great substitution for buttermilk, which is what I have done today. We've got a half a cup of oil, we've got our vanilla, and two eggs. So these. So now we're going to put everything together. Normally I'm go I would pull out my big mixer and, and do everything that way, but um, since I'm just doing this and it's really simple and easy, I am just using my trusty bowl with a whisk and a spatula. So, all right, so it's always best when you're making a cake from scratch to start, or anything from scratch for that matter, to start with your dry ingredients first. So we're starting with our cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. Add that in there. We have um, a cup of a cup, one and one quarter teaspoons of baking powder. I'll put that in there. We have half a teaspoon of baking soda. Put that in there. We have half or yeah, half a teaspoon of salt. Put that in there also. Sometimes the salt sticks just a little bit. All right, and then we have these dry ingredients. We're gonna give it a stir with the whisk first. If there's any large clumps in there, the whisk just kind of breaks them up and everything. So we've got that going on. All right, then we are going to add our sugar. This is three quarter cups of sugar. We're gonna add that in there. And we're gonna give that a good stir. Give that a good stir also so that way we're getting all of our dry ingredients incorporated together before we add any of our wet ingredients so from here on out we're just going to follow the the um, recipe down the line with the exception of the sugar that we've already put in so we're going to take our eggs and as i said earlier we're going to crack each egg and put it into the bowl before we put into the um, into our mixing bowl Got both our eggs in there. All right, and then we're going to add our teaspoon and a half, one one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Add that in there. Then we're going to add to that our vegetable oil, and you can use any kind of oil that you like. But I like using vegetable oil, especially when making with making cakes, because it it uh, helps to make them just a little bit lighter. And then finally, we're going to add our buttermilk, or in as this was 
This was regular milk with a little bit of lime juice that we're going to put in here. That made our own little version of our substitute for the buttermilk. And now comes the fun part. We're going to stir it all together. Now if you want to, before you put the eggs in, you can put the eggs in a separate bowl and you can go ahead and beat the eggs together before you put them into the batter, but you don't have to do that because if you use a whisk instead of a spoon, um, it helps to incorporate everything together. And once you get a smooth consistency on your batter, just like this, your batter is ready. So see, that didn't take very long at all. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is separate our batter and um, decide what colors we're going to use. All right, so now our batter is ready and we're ready to color it. Now you can use any kind of cake coloring that you would like to use. The one I'm using, this is the one I'm using, it's from Wilton, and uh, Wilton is trusted by cake decorators everywhere. Now this isn't a plug for Wilton, I'm not getting paid by them to, to show their product. So this is a freebie. I've been using Wilton for years and I've had great success with that. You can use all four colors. This comes with a purple, a teal, an orange, and a magenta. So let's color some better. So this is where a little bit of math comes in, y'all. Um, since I've got two cups of batter here in my bowl, and I'm gonna do all four colors, I need to divide the amount of cups here um, by four. I need to divide the amount that we had that of the batter, the two cups of batter, I need to divide that by four, which means we're gonna have half a cup of batter um, for each color. I've always liked putting something down on the table or on the counter for when I'm working with the batter. Um, so if it, any of it drips, which it always does, um, it's going to drip on the paper towel and not on the counter. And then I can just throw the paper towel away and don't have to constantly clean the counter. Good idea, right? So. So here we have all of our batter separated and ready for the four colors. So we're going to experiment. Now you can make the colors just as dark or as bright as you like. I'm going to start with the magenta. Go right up here. And I'm going to start with three drops. Stir and see how that turns out. All right. Now I'm going to put just a little bit more in here because I want to give it a little brighter color. So I'm going to put two more drops. There we go. Give it a stir. Right, and there we go. Now we're going to do the same. I'm going to go ahead and do five drops for the others. Go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in just a minute. Now we have our four colors. Here comes the fun part, and that is making cupcakes. So we've got our colors all mixed up, and so here comes the fun part, and that is actually putting the batter together and making our cupcakes. So for that, you're going to need your cupcake pan. Now this cupcake, this recipe will make anywhere from 12 to 14 cupcakes, depending on how much batter you put in them. And so you're going to need your cupcake pan, you're going to need, um, well, our muffin tin, there it's called, um, and your cupcake papers, and these are the ones that I'm going to be using today. And so 
let me get ready and I'll show you how it's done. Alright, so here we are with our four colors. I've got my my muffin tin all ready to be loaded up there with the batter. Now for this you will need to use spoons, so you're gonna need one for all, every different color that you're gonna use. So I got four colors, so I'm gonna use four. Now the hardest decision that you'll make about this is what color you want to put in first. So it really doesn't matter which color that you put in first, and you can mix them up. But one thing that you don't want to be that you don't want to do, make sure that you don't do this once you get the colors in there, is don't stir the colors together. Okay, don't stir the colors because then it won't be a rainbow; it'll be a bleh. So we don't want a bleh; we want a rainbow. So I'm going to start with purple. I'm going to do some with the purple. So. Uh, and this is also, this is going to be best guess on here, so I'm going to start with a couple of the tablespoons of the color. Put it in there Next, the I am going to add, hmm, let's see, what do I want to add? I'm going to go with the teal next. Now, these are the colors that I have with mine. Now, not all of the the colors that you find are these particular colors because you can get it in the primary colors and and that's perfectly fine these are this is just something that I just happen to have so I'm gonna layer the teal on here all right so that's the way these are going. One thing I said earlier that you do not want to do is once you get all these colors in here, is stir it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and we'll be right back. All right, so here we have our cupcakes ready to go in the oven. We got nine cupcakes that we're going to do. You want to preheat your oven to 350, which I have done here, and my oven is hot and ready to go. I'm going to turn on the oven light because I like having the light on. Now one thing that you are going to want to do is you are going to want to set your kitchen timer. This is the way mine sets here on the stove and these are going to cook for 12 minutes and that's how you do it. Alright, so the oven just went off saying that these are done so we are going to check our cupcakes. Now the way that you check to make sure your cupcakes are done, it's so easy. You just take a toothpick and I'll show you how. just came out of the oven. We're going to check them to see if they are right. So you take your toothpick, stick it down in the middle. If it comes out clean, they are done. If it doesn't, they need to go just a little bit longer. I'm going to check this one here since it's got a little pooching on the top. Yeah, these just need, these need a couple more minutes, so we're going to stick those back in. There. So when you check your cupcakes and it, they need just a little bit longer, um, don't put them in for another five minutes. Like if uh, the recipe says anywhere from that it'll go anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. We've already done 12 minutes. I put it back in for two more minutes. We'll check them and then see where where they are. From. All right. So the timer just went off for the second time for the cupcakes, and we're going to check on cupcake this time. And voila, it is clean. So we are good to go. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these cupcakes out of the muffin tins. There we have our cupcakes and this is what they look like. All ready to go. And so we are going to let these cool and we'll be back as soon as these are cool. Alright, so the cupcakes are out and cooling and while they are cooling we're going to make our buttercream frosting. Alright, and this is everything that we need for our buttercream frosting. We've got three and a half cups of powdered sugar. We have our vanilla. We got a teaspoon and a half. We got two tablespoons of milk and a half a cup of butter. Right, so for the buttercream frosting, the first thing that we're going to do is put our butter in and we are going to whip the butter. And in 
sufficiently whipped. Switching to my paddle attachment. Switching to the paddle attachment. I love this paddle attachment because it's got the little scraper on the side here. And so if you have a KitchenAid mixer like I've got, I highly recommend you getting one of those. Now, again, that is not a plug for KitchenAid. It just happened to be what I have. I'm not getting paid for, for saying anything about KitchenAid. So, put this on just like that. Now comes the fun stuff. We're going to add our vanilla. And then we're going to add our cream. This is whole milk. You can use uh, heavy cream if you want to use that also. Um, just totally on your preference right there. And so here we go. Now the trick is with this, especially with this amount of, of powdered sugar, is you want to start your mixer on a slow setting. Alright, and there that's been three minutes and here is our frosting. And now the next step we're gonna decorate. Alright. Now that we have our frosting made and our cupcakes are ready to frost, now it's time to decorate them. And this is the fun part. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a disposable decorator bag. And again, it's Wilton. And that's just because what I use. This is a professional decorating decorator's bag. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to be able to decorate this. No tips needed. Now if you don't have one of these and you don't want to go out and go purchase of some of these decorator bags, these which are disposable, you can actually use a, a zipper bag, a, zip, a plastic Ziploc bag and then you just cut the edge just like I'm going to show you here in just a minute. So we are here with our frosting. This is our buttercream frosting that we just made. I'm going to take my spatula and scrape down the side. colored frosting, you can do use the same uh, food coloring that we use to dye the, the cupcake batter and just put a few drops in there and just keep adding and stirring until you get it. But, but I want to do the white frosting on our rainbow cupcakes. So here's how you fill the bag. So you take the bag, open it up like this, fold it down, fold the sides down like this, you get it opened up to where that it makes where that it makes a cone. Then you take your take a spoon and just spoon your frosting right into the bag. And you may be thinking, wait, we got the frosting in the bag, but the end is still closed. Well, that's an easy fix. Take your scissors and you can cut straight across if you want to do that way. If you want to make just a little um, embellishment. Cut at an angle. Just like that. And there you go. You've got your opening. Just like that. And you take it. You can squeeze the frosting all the way down to the end of like that and if you find that it's too small like that just pinch off the end just a little bit and make yourself a bigger cut just like that and you are ready to go and once you get it in there the really cool thing about these bags is they give you a line on the bag once you've got it down in there that's the maximum amount um, of frosting to put in the decorator bag so that's a really good thing because that way it's hard to use a bag that has been overfilled so you get it squeezed down grab the end of it just like this that way you can take it and squeeze it in your hand like that 
give it a twist on there. And you, oh, see we got a little bit coming out there and you are ready to decorate. So now you can be as plain or as fancy on these as you would like to do. So what we're going to do is we are going to start Start from the outside, work your way to the middle. And it doesn't matter if the whole thing is covered. Oh, aren't those cute? got our cupcakes and here comes the fun part take the paper off after we have cut the cupcake in half check this out there is the inside of our rainbow cupcake now, is that yummy or what so if you're new to our channel be sure that you uh, click the subscribe button down at the bottom and the little bell so that way whenever that we upload a new video you will be notified that there is a new video for you to watch. So with making the cupcakes from scratch you don't have to depend on a box and um, you can make it all kinds of really neat colors depending on the colors that you can get. So make you some rainbow cupcakes. The recipe is below and um, enjoy. time for more Marshall's Monkeys. <laughs>